I'm Juan. I was born and raised in Colombia and then moved to the United States when I was 10 and lived in Jersey for about also another 10 years and then have been in New York for about six. I, I never really had a, a coming out story. Like I, I, I came out to friends um, very early. The first few times I remember coming out, I came out as, as a quote unquote bisexual. I tried having girlfriends in high school and, and a lot of them were, were literally trials because they were not something a little bit further than uh, than just another girlfriend of mine. I think it's because we were kissing, and if it ever got to anything that could have been anything serious, I was like, oh, I'm just a guy. Sorry, not into you. Gotta go. I did that up until I think like middle of my sophomore year, and then after that, I became a little bit more like, what the fuck, like, and and I started watching more, and I started also becoming more m me myself and I, and 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 kind of from the inside giving myself that confidence because it wasn't I didn't particularly have that confidence from my family not because they were downputting or, or, or you know but they're just that wasn't a conversation that we were gonna have my parents my mom will never ask me she never asked me if if I was gay even after experiences like like mm. earlier on in childhood she never asked me and she would never ask me because my mom is that one person that's very my stuff is my stuff, your stuff is your stuff, your life is your life, my life is mine. There, there was never that like, let's sit down, let's have a discussion. She was busy, we were busy. When she came home, she was, if we needed her, she was there for us. I, I, there was, that never got taken away. Um, but I knew that it was like, she would never ask me. She would never ever ask me if I was gay or not. Um, sometimes I, I wish she had, but she never did. When it came time to me, for me to move to New York, it was a very last minute thing. It was not something that was planned or you know I, I didn't know no one here I didn't have a job here the opportunity came for me to move here with someone from school from high school and I didn't really have expectations I think I had the understanding of it being more diverse and maybe not feeling as singled out I think I I became invisible again but in a different comfortable way it, it, it was I didn't feel weird walking out in the streets um, I took a, a class at Parsons for continuing education um, and that was kind of my first in into New York and I remember leaving and walking around a lot and and seeing gay people on the street and and having that kind of interaction and the flags and this little this and this little that that I think kind of made me feel like okay I'm not gonna stand out as much when you see me um, I'm, I'm, I'm a bit of an unknown because you don't know where I'm from. If I was walking down the street, you wouldn't particularly be able to tell 100% because I could be a lot of different things. Um, the one thing that you can't take away from me and that you can't say, well, maybe he, it, it's I'm gay. So when you see me, you, you recognize that I'm gay before you recognize what race or what ethnic background I am. I've been around other Colombian people who when they find out that hey, I'm Colombian, or even even when people find out that I'm I'm Hispanic, they're like, oh my God, I had no idea. If I were to go back ten years and or and have a little bit of a conversation with myself um, about what to expect coming up later on in the future, I think it's that that eventually you're gonna just be and become and and get to a point of comfort. I was not. I was very awkward, I was very shy, I was very just not confident and comfortable and, and, and through the years and through experiences and slaps in the face one way or another, it's, you're gonna get it. And I, I mean you're gonna get it all.